Have you ever wondered why time only moves forward and not backward? An intriguing question, isn't it? Time as we perceive it is unidirectional. It's like a river that flows from the past, through the present, and into the future, never to return. This forward march of time is a fundamental aspect of our human existence, shaping our experiences, memories, and anticipation. But did you know that science has an explanation for this? And no, it's not just about the spinning hands of a clock or the shifting sands of an hourglass. It's a principle deeply rooted in the very fabric of the universe. A principle known as the second law of thermodynamics. This law, often associated with words like entropy and chaos, is the key to understanding why time seems to have a preferred direction. Time's forward motion isn't just a human perception but a law of physics, specifically the second law of thermodynamics. So, what exactly is this second law of thermodynamics? The second law of thermodynamics, my friends, is a fundamental rule of nature that has two main statements. The first one is the principle of energy degradation, also known as entropy. The second one is the principle of energy conservation. Now let's take a closer look at these two principles. The principle of energy degradation, or entropy, is a fascinating concept. It's about the disorder or randomness in a system. In any natural process, the total entropy of a system and its surroundings always increases. In simple terms, things tend to get messier over time. If you've ever noticed how a hot coffee cools down to room temperature, or how perfume diffuses in a room, you've witnessed entropy in action. The second principle, the principle of energy conservation, tells us that energy can neither be created nor destroyed. It can only change from one form to another. For instance, when you light a match, the chemical energy stored in the matchstick is converted into heat and light. The total amount of energy before and after lighting the match remains the same. This is energy conservation in action. These two principles together govern the direction of natural processes. They tell us that energy always spreads out and becomes more dispersed or distributed in the absence of specific work being done to maintain or increase its concentration. So, if you leave a system to its own devices it will naturally evolve towards a state of maximum entropy, or in other words maximum disorder. This is why we can't unscramble an egg or gather all the smoke back into a burnt piece of wood, it's entropy in action again increasing the disorder. And it's not just about physical systems. The second law of thermodynamics applies to the universe as a whole. It's why stars burn out and galaxies drift apart. It's why time only moves in one direction, from the past to the future. So, the second law essentially states that energy always spreads out, and this spreading out dictates the direction of time. At the heart of the second law is a concept called entropy. Now, what is entropy? Simply put, entropy is a measure of disorder or randomness in a system. It's a bit like that pile of laundry in your room that you've been meaning to sort out. The more mixed up and jumbled the clothes are, the higher the entropy. But entropy is more than just a metaphor for our messy rooms. It's a fundamental principle that governs the behavior of our universe. In any natural process, the total entropy of a system and its surroundings always increases. This means that things naturally tend towards disorder rather than order. Consider a dropped glass shattering into pieces on the floor. The broken glass represents a more disordered state, and therefore a state of higher entropy compared to the intact glass. The process is irreversible under natural conditions, you won't see the shattered pieces spontaneously reassemble themselves into a whole glass. This is entropy at work, driving the direction of natural processes. But why does entropy always increase? Well, there are simply more ways for a system to be disorderly than orderly. If we go back to our laundry example, there are countless ways to jumble up your clothes but only one way to perfectly fold and arrange them. Nature, being the efficient entity it is, opts for the most probable state. Disorder. This brings us to a profound implication of the second law of thermodynamics. The incessant increase in entropy gives time its direction. It's why we remember the past but not the future. Why we grow old. Why we can't unscramble an egg. In the grand cosmic ballet, entropy is the choreographer, ensuring that every step, every twirl, every leap, increases the overall disorder of the universe. So, entropy is not just a measure of disorder. It's the arrow of time, the reason for every natural process we observe, and the inevitable march towards a future of increasing disorder. Entropy increases, disorder increases, and this is why time has a direction always moving forward. So, how does the second law play out in the real world? Let's delve into some everyday examples to see this law in action. 
Consider a cube of ice that you've left out on the kitchen counter. As the minutes tick by you'll notice it's slowly melting into a puddle of water. This process is a one-way street. You won't see the puddle of water spontaneously form back into a solid ice cube. This is because the second law of thermodynamics dictates that the total entropy or disorder in an isolated system can only increase over time. Or, think about when you spritz your favorite perfume in the air. The scent doesn't stay in one spot, it disperses throughout the room, reaching every corner. This diffusion process is also irreversible and demonstrates the second law. And let's not forget the burning of fuel, a process we often take for granted. When fuel burns, it releases heat and light energy, transforming into exhaust gases. This transformation is permanent. You can't take the exhaust gases and convert them back into fuel. These examples all highlight the irreversible nature of processes, demonstrating the forward movement of time. They show us that in our universe there's a natural flow from order to disorder, from potential to kinetic energy, from the past to the future. In essence, the second law of thermodynamics gives us a scientific understanding of why we can't go back in time. In conclusion, the second law of thermodynamics is a fundamental aspect of our universe. It's this principle that underpins the concept of entropy and dictates the forward march of time. From the smallest molecule to the vast expanse of the cosmos, this law governs all. Understanding these principles can help us grasp the essence of time's unidirectional flow. So next time you wonder why you can't turn back time, remember, it's all down to the second law of thermodynamics.